And as that, so I would want to say we ought to begin think about the Quran as separate from literature um, in, in Muslim societies. Um, the, the task of the Quran was to be uh, prophetic. And like all prophetic speeches, um, the idea is that you go from a particular experience to a universal idea. Pro what prophets do is they universalize the particular. Short definition of prophecy. A, universal, a universalizing of the particular. Right? Prophets have had individual experiences. From, the, from those experiences, they try to draw universal conclusions. Literature works the other way around. Literature begins with the universals and tries to go to the particular. And that's, that's where its power lies for us, I think, as educators. Because it's a moment at which uh, a tradition itself, in this context, the Islamic tradition or Muslims themselves, are coming to say, I'm going to speak in a language that should speak at a more universal level in order to demonstrate something particular, which is different from what the Quran was doing. But the Quran is saying, you know, these are particular experiences that from which I'm going to tell you how everyone should live. This is, this is an experience that a single person has had. And, you know, from that, we're going to try to understand how we're going to try to do universal conclusions from that, right? Um, but literature is going the other way.